Yeah, here we go. Hawks versus Haas, part eight. Is this now, I think? Haas versus Haas, part eight, maybe? Uh, I got to be honest with you, Tony. I am losing count here, yeah. but... <laughs> This special attraction match we see every month, Haas versus Haas. <laughs> For the first time ever this week, Haas versus Haas. And he's here. There he is, there's one of them. <laughs> All right, so uh, Walker, what do you think is going to make this Haas versus Haas match different from the first seven? Listen, I got to be honest with you. I've been privy to only three of the Haas versus Haas matches we have seen here in Tech Summer Pro here in our junior division. And oh, you haven't lived then. You know, I've been, I've had the pleasure of sitting through seven of them. And uh, well, if there's one thing that I know, it's that these two young competitors are always improving. Always, yes, they're. They're, they're both always young, and they're both always competing, and they're, they're competing, uh, they're useful in their competitiveness. Absolutely. I mean, I think he might have the youth advantage here tonight. I think so, I think. And his brother probably has the experience advantage. The Haas family is so proud of the championships that they hold because they leave them at home on the mantle and don't bring them to their matches. Like, man. Trust me, guys, one of these two are, is the champion, I promise. The belt's not here, but one of them is the champion. Hey, well, there's Chuck. Ladies and gentlemen, in the gray, it says Cardinal on the front. It's Chuck Ox. And there's Russ, who is the champion, even though he does not have the belt with him. You just have to take my word for it, people. Ready? Ready? And here we go. Haas versus Haas, part eight. Let's go. Chuck Haas going to be taking on Russ Haas here Here's tonight. Here's that Collar Novo lockup. One thing is for sure, Walker, and that is no matter who wins this match, uh, Haas is definitely going to be victorious. Color Nobu lockup down to a headlock takeover. Roll one. Man, deja vu. One, two. What, this match looks like an instant classic. I mean, as we always say, it's going to be an interesting ride home oh, yeah. after this one. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see this move coming. Nips right out of the headlock. Look at the agility here from Chuck Haas. You know what? If, we, if you've seen Chuck do that move once, you've seen him do it eight times. <laughs> back to the collar and elbow lockup. Oh, back around with this beautiful wrist lock into the ropes. Oh, and there's that arm drag. I was waiting for it. See the oh, and there's that. There we go. Japanese arm drag transition out. Yeah, and there's that short arm scissor that we've seen. <laughs> Rinched it in on that short arm scissor like never before. Oh, he's got him back up. Down to a hammer lock. Oh, look, he's going to duck under. Ducks under for that hammer lock. And now he's probably going to snap Maram over if memory serves me correct. No, he's going to hop up and over. Oh! Sliced bread. It's almost a One, cutter. Two. Ah, just a two count. Only a two count. It's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Texoma Pro Junior Champion in Russ Austin. Yes, it will. And believe us, folks, he is the junior champion. 
And another European uppercut. Slingshot into the ropes. Oh, oh what a big boot. Just right to his brother's face. Washing the face. There's that Chuck Haas. Snap mare again. Oh! Yeah, and natural selection. Cover him. One, two, just a two count. Now we're waiting for that submission hold, that Haas mission. He's going to wrench in that Haas lock, whatever you'd like to call it this week. Ever changing submission hold. Just right back into that shoulder blade, just stomping on him, just stomping right in there, just stomping him up. Not much romping, but a lot of stomping. Not much romping? Tony, what's got into you tonight? <laughs> I'm just, this, this, this once in a lifetime match tonight has me all up in arms and excited. I can only imagine so. Monkey flip, right? Yes, I wow. thought I remembered the monkey flip. And cover him. One, two, just a two count. I thought that was going to be it, Tony. Oh, I knew it wasn't. Back up to a vertical base. Oh, and a big right hand. Caught him by surprise. Not me, though. Back into the ropes. Slingshot. Oh, and there's that trip into the ropes. Drop toe hold into the ropes. What's going to happen here? Oh, the 619. Maybe? Oh, my God. Yep. Hey, at least he got it this time. Connected. And cover him. One, two. Just a two count. Referee Nicholas Caldwell in perfect position there. That's right. One of the three people in this match was in perfect position. All right, and he's going to cover him. No, he's going to. Another right hand, and it's blocked. And one more right hand. Nope, that's blocked again. Oh, and that's blocked again. Memory serves me. Well, there's going to be one more. There it is. All right. Front chancery. Suplex. Now he's going to block it. Now he's going to try again. He's going to block it. Now he's going to try again. Get him over here. Yep. Beautiful oh. Falcon Arrow coming up. Oh! Jackhammer modified. One, two, three, and that's it. Ring that bell. So you're winners of this first time ever this week matchup. Russ Haas won, wins part eight. So that leaves us to question, who's going to win part nine? Because we know there's going to be a part nine. Wait, wait, I have absolutely no idea. I know that if there's one thing for certain, every time you see Russ and Chuck Haas here in a Texoma Pro Wrestling ring, something is going to happen. And something did just happen. Russ uh, retained his title. Trust me, folks. He's the champ still. Russ Haas picks up that victory. Just because it's not here doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's the Santa Claus title. All right, so now let's get back to some professional wrestling, what we all came to see.